The time is 7.38 p.m. Good evening. The news headline. El Rufai bans cows, goats from entering and going out of Kaduna. Governor Narsir El Rufai has banned the transporting of cows, goats, and other livestock from Kaduna to other states. The Kaduna government also banned livestock coming, from, coming into the state from other areas. The Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruwan, announced the ban in a statement issued on Thursday. Mr. Aruwan explained that after wide consultations and thorough security reviews, Mr. El Rufai government banned the transportation of livestock from the states to other parts of Nigeria. Both bans take immediate effect from today, September 2nd, 2021, and said the statement, the government also wishes to reiterate the transportation of donkeys into the state is a criminal offense, and anyone found engaging in this will be prosecuted accordingly. It, disclosed, it further disclosed that the Kawo weekly market opened on Tuesday in Cardona North local government area has been suspended with immediate effect. Mr. Ruan reminded residents of the state that the previous directives suspending weekly markets and sale of petrol in Jerikan, in Benin, Gwari, Giwa, Chikun, Igabi, and Kajuru local government areas were still in place. The ban on felling of tr trees for timber, firewood, and charcoal, and other commercial purposes in Beningwari, Kachia, Kajuru, Giwa, uh, uh, Chikun, Igabi, Kaura, and uh, other local government areas are still in force. He added that citizens are hereby informed that all these directives will be vigorously enforced by security agencies. Now, Kaduna is battling with bandits' attack, including mass abduction, uh, including mass uh, abduction of uh, children in Kaduna State. You could remember, uh, you know, part of the analysis now, we could remember that the Nigerian Baptist Convention described as pathetic the kidnapping of Bethel Baptist High School students in Damishi, Kaduna. It appealed to federal government uh, and um, Governor Nasir El Rufai administration that they should intensify efforts to end the spate of kidnapping and banditry. The Baptist President Israel A. Konji, A. Konji made the appeal on a Tuesday in a statement in Ibado, where he called on members of the Baptist family, both within and outside the country, and well many Nigerians, that they should pray for the safe return of the school children and other held hostage by bandits in the north. He also urged parents to remain calm and also keep good faith in God, for there is nothing he cannot uh, do. They received a distress call in early hours of Monday, July 5, 2021, that bandits had attacked Bethel Baptist High School, Damishi, in Kaduna, and they immediately contacted security operatives and mobilized other stakeholders for a rescue mission. To the glory of God, 28 students have been reunited with their families while the remaining 125 students are yet to be accounted for. We have been able to uh, reliably inform that search and rescue operations are ongoing, involving the Nigerian Army, the Nigeria Air Force, and other security agencies. And they believe that by the grace of God, that uh, you know the students will return safely to their parents soon. Uh, that is what the Baptist president actually said, that he however noted that the situation in which they have found themselves is indeed pathetic, particularly for the parents of the kidnapped students and school communities, and that they feel their pains and their prayer is that Almighty God will arise and intervene in this unfortunate incident. And you know, aside this, there have been many cases of abductions. In fact, kidnapping has become a very good business now. <laughs> so to say, they could in quotes, you know, because to, to them, to the bandits, it's a very good business because they, they, you know, all they just need to do is to find a, a is a, a, a prominent person or somebody that is very dear to a particular set of people or an institution that is very key and just look for one or two people to kidnap them and they start to, you know, demand for a whole lot of money as ransom. And people that are not able to meet up with this ransom, what they do is they kill them. Uh, you know, there was a, a case of the Living Faith uh, Church of recent that you know, they kidnapped the electoral and some other people. They demanded for about 300 million naira before they reduced it to, I think, 30 million naira. So, uh, okay, they, they requested for 30 million naira and they had to reduce it back to uh, 3 million naira for the 300 that were 
kidnapped. That is one million naira each, unlike the 10, 000, uh, 10 million naira that they had uh, earlier uh, demanded for. And you know, the cases of these abductions has become something to worry about because it is very, very troublesome. And uh, you know, out of a whole lot of them that were kidnapped, just 28 students have been reunited back in Kaduna State after they have been attacked at Bethel Baptist High School, Damishi in Kaduna. And you can imagine that 125 students are yet to be accounted for. And all they are doing is to be, you know, hopeful and praying that uh, these bandits will actually, you know, have a change of mind and perhaps release these people. And they are urging that gov uh, Governor Nasir Erufai administration should actually intensify his efforts to end the spate of this kidnapping in Kaduna State. And as a result of this insecurity, Governor Erufai has banned transporting of cows, goats, and other livestock from Kaduna to other states. The Kaduna government also banned livestock coming into the state from other areas. The Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, uh, that is uh, Samuel Aruan, he announced this ban in a statement on Thursday where he explained that the wide consultations and thorough security reviews uh, you know, made by the El Rufai government has banned the transportation of this livestock from the states to other parts of the Nigeria. Because the ban, after, uh, okay, they, they said the ban would take immediate effect from September 2, 2021 uh, in their statement, and that the governor uh, and his government actually wishes to address that the transportation again of donkeys, anything donkey, into the states of Kaduna is a criminal offense. And anybody that does that or engages in it will actually be prosecuted accordingly. He further disclosed that the uh, Kawo weekly market opened on Tuesdays in Kaduna North, local government area have been suspended with immediate effect. And that uh, they, should be, they should remember, like people of Kaduna should remember that they have, uh, you know, suspend weekly markets and the sale of petrols in Jerican in Benigwari. So that means that nobody should, uh, the, the major points are now are that nobody uh, should transport cows, goats, or anything livestock, then most especially donkey in Kaduna State. It is banned for now. And, uh, uh, you know, that they have to just do all this to, you know, further make sure that there is uh, security uh, in the state. And anybody that, you know, crosses boundary or does otherwise will be prosecuted uh, accordingly. They're noting that anything petrol in Jerichans for now, you know, in all those lo local governments like Giwa, Chikun, Ngabi, Kajuru, you know, uh, it is actually prohibited. And the former, uh, the former ban on felling of trees for timber, firewood, coal, or any commercial purposes whatsoever, in all those local government areas as well, are also still in force. And citizens are, you know, informed to uh, adhere to these directives and because it will be vigorously enforced by security agencies. This is just to make sure that they reduce or peradventure stop, you know, the Kaduna uh, bandits attack, and including the mass abduction of school children in Kaduna State. The time is 7.46 p.m. Good evening.